On tour, I did. I took a. I did a bet with one of the guys, the bass player in my band, and he was like, "Dude, you know, let's both like try being vegetarian for this tour." And so we did, and I just never went back. I just remember that when I changed, when I stopped eating meat, I felt so much better. I had a lot more energy, without a doubt. Um, I, I felt like my brain, like I could think more clear. I wasn't even intending on staying vegetarian. I was just doing it for the bet. And I felt so much better that I just never ate meat again. The way that dairy products are acquired, and as well as you know the way that meat is acquired, obviously, are very painful procedures and causing these animals pain. And um, I just, I don't want to be, I don't want to have that resting on me at all. I don't want to know that. It makes me depressed. I didn't go vegetarian because of things I knew about slaughterhouse. I didn't know. All I had to know was things were being killed. Animals were being killed, and I personally wouldn't kill an animal to eat it. And that was it. My, everyone in my house is either vegan or vegetarian, all the four people that live. And um, so, like, when we're cooking, you know, like, we have friends over that aren't, but they eat the food, and they're like, whoa, this is really good, you know, and it's really easy to cook. And, you know, I, I love teaching people, like, simple recipes or, like, how to cook, you know. And, and I think a lot of people, a lot of our friends have gone vegetarian or vegan just because they just become more aware of, you know, all the things you can eat that aren't something you had to hurt to kill or hurt to eat, you know. I love eating. So we, we just like, we'll just go and like get all Japanese food. We'll make fried rice, yakisoba, like um, different like tofu squares, and uh, like spring rolls, and uh, get a bunch of sake and Japanese beer and like sit around and like have a good time. We actually have vegan and vegetarian recipes on MDV Records website. That's like one of the coolest things about that site, I think. But uh, I like walruses because they're just like big. They look like really friendly mm -hmm. creatures, but they probably would like bite the shit out of me if I tried to hug one. But I, you know, I definitely have to like really hold myself back. If I saw if a walrus was like across the room, you know, I'd want to hug it. They just look so huggable.